Oh. I thought I was live. I'm sorry. I'm now live. Apparently, you have to press um, start st streaming or go live as well. Anyway, I am live streaming today, guys, because I have the virus. I can't do anything else. I can't go out. I can't do anything. I'm just at home, bored. So I decided to stream. Why not? And I'm going to be working on two men, and I'm going to be creating very, very quick blog posts using my strategy. My strategy is this. I'm going to go through it quickly at the beginning. I'm going to use this Python script right here to look for certain keywords. So for example, if I want to write an article about loafers, I change the keyword here to loafer. I run the script. The script looks for any loafer, loafers, anything with the word loafer in on the sitemap. So it's using this sitemap here, which if you don't know, you can just download your sitemap. If you're on Shopify, go to twomen.it. So your website .xml, open up the collections, no, sorry, the products. So control C, control V that. Happy New Year, everyone. Right click, save as, and then you save your sitemap. And then you can put your sitemap in here. If you want to get this, if you want to follow along, I will quickly log into Pastebin and I'll leave the script that I'm using. So which one is it? Extract product information from Shopify site. I'll just upload the one that I'm using right now. So it's this one here. Let's just upload this quickly. Paste. New paste. There we go. Um, category none. Live stream. Create new paste. There we go. Okay, so if you want to follow along while we are doing this, guys, this is the script that I'm using. What you do is you put it in Visual Studio Code, and now all you do is change what you're looking for here. So I want to start by doing a t-shirt article. I need to talk about keyword methods as well. What I'm doing is I'm looking for really quick and easy articles to write just like this one right here. Okay, so the ultimate guide to the best suit colors for men in 2024. What I've discovered is you can do very, very short articles with a lot of products in. So you do a big box like this, okay? So you can see here, I've got like 15 suits maybe in a box. They're all different colors, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that and I'm extrapolating it into many other articles. So another way that you can do this as well is you can use uh, keywordtool.io if you don't wanna use Google Ads Keyword Planner. And again, just type something like best men's suit for. And then you can see we've got best men's suit for wedding. So I can, I'm going to do this article. I know I've already done this article, but I want to do them all again using this methodology. Best men's suit for funeral, best men's suit for wedding guest, best men's suit for the money, for an interview. I haven't even done this article. So yeah, let's get started. There's no point going too much into detail, but the final one that you can use is uh, Answer Socrates, but it's not loading right now. so. These are all free. Um, I don't use Ahrefs in videos. I do use it sometimes myself, but I don't really use it in videos just because it's so expensive. And I don't expect people to have to buy something that expensive. So we're going to be using ChatGPT to do all the writing, all the featured images, etc., etc. We have my SOP right here. So again, I will leave this in the chat and in the description as well. Actually, I'll do that now just in case I forget. So let's just add this to the description. There's that, there's that. So if you watched this live stream so far, you've already got everything that you need to do this for your website as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. And hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it because I'm not really doing anything. So the first part is we have custom instructions. So we'll grab these custom instructions here. Uh, we're probably gonna change this SOP a little bit because it's not, um, it's not quite right. So we'll change that. And then change keyword at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Right. So this works. As you can see right here, okay, this I actually did this live in a video. Best suit colors for men 2024. The reason I'm live streaming this now is just because of how well this article has done. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, suit colors and the beautiful thing is is that it's mainly because of the translation which i'm really really excited about so you can see this has got 155 clicks it was released on the 4th of december 
that's really really good for a new article and i feel like this is just a really easy way to trend to rank for like trending keywords like 2024 suit trends suit trends 2024 men's suits 2024 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the keywords that you can see here something like i'm just going to do this first as an example we're going to do cool t-shirts for men i'm going to change this to something like trending or just cool t-shirts for men or the coolest t-shirts for men 2024 and i'm going to make a really really quick article so let's just get started first thing i need to do is run the script it needs to find t-shirts so we have t dash shirt i only need 20 so it shouldn't take too long you can see it starts to speed up because it's it skips through if something doesn't have the word t-shirt in it or it should anyway i don't know what it's doing right now it should already have 20 i mean we have thousands of t-shirts i swear let's see t-shirt oh we actually don't have that many t-shirts we only have about 70 so it probably will take quite a while because it has to search through everything i think i might change the script to not um, yeah i think i'm going to do that because right now what the script is doing is it's uh extracting product info uh which takes ages oh it's no it's not done so i think i'm just going to change the script a little bit quickly so change this script to only search for filtered terms but not to web scrape anymore because otherwise it's just going to take too long it's done now but i'll still change it. i'll change it at the same time I don't really need all of this description to be honest with you either. In fact, I might just change it now because it's just going to mess with the with the output. Let's just see if this works first time. So, new file to men live stream dot py python to men live stream dot py. Oh, <laughs> okay. I didn't do anything. Whatever, I'm not going to change the script now because I'm live streaming. But I, I should have done this before. I don't need this description, but it's fine, whatever. The problem is it's too long, but I think it'll be okay. So, right, so we're going to go for uh, cool t-shirts 2024. Okay, so the first thing that the SOP does is it searches everything on Bing. And it does like a little competitor analysis. I found this works really, really well. So you can see it's visiting T public. That's probably going to be a search result page, which, uh, yeah, we don't really want. Okay. So I can't remember how the SOP works. I might speed this up to be honest with you, because, um, I don't think it needs to be this in detailed okay i might just i might just skip this actually i might just do this normally create a markdown table of all of these products include interesting parts about them okay yeah I'm definitely just going to simplify things a bit here. Okay, I might be able to use ChatGPT 3.5 for this, or even um, the Playground. Oh no, this is fine, this is good. Oh yeah, this is good, this works. This is a nice full table, has a lot of information in it, price, everything. Should have a link as well. There's no link. Wait, can you include a link to the products uh, page itself as well? I don't think these are clickable right now. I like this a lot. I love these tables. They work really, really well. This is going to take some time, so I'm probably going to do two at once. I've got another chat GPT here, so we'll just do that. Um, warmest winter jacket for men. Best look for guys. Best sweaters for men 2024. Yep, that'll do. 
I search in here for sweater. I guess it's fine having the information as long as we include the information in the actual table. Sweater. One, two, three, four, five. That's there. Eh. That's fine. We're down. That's fine. That's enough. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to write the article. Maybe I can just do it like this, it might be easy. Now I'll write um article the coolest t shirt for men in twenty twenty four. <clears throat> okay, let's try this. Uh, I will add the markdown table. And then we'll open a markdown to HTML. Down to HTML. And we shall copy this into here. There we go. Beautiful. So I did notice something. I I don't I don't know. Some of the tables were looking a bit weird on Shopify. I might have to do some code changes there. I'm not sure yet. Okay, this looks good. This looks fine. Yeah, we have links. Perfect. They're not. And they look like links. That's a link. Okay, there we go. Okay. I might use the playground for the tables, to be honest with you. I think the playground's going to be better. And then the table needs to be... Here. The best... The coolest... T-shirts for men in 24 are... Okay, then we go raw HTML and then we go to Shopify and we add a blog post. I'm just going to be posting a few more. I'm going to increase the posting rate because I want to see what happens basically. Um, I've been posting one per day for a while now. I kind of want to see if I can post two per day just to see. And then the final thing I need is now make me a featured image for this. Blog post, classic Italian style. So yeah, I'm going to be posting these pretty frequently. Oops. Did I just lose that? Yes. Beautiful. Make sure you get rid of the H1 at the top. Make sure it's H2. And then... That's a shirt. And you make it a shirt, t shirt, article. Work. I mean, yeah, that's fine, but there's, there's no t shirt here. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing? How's everyone's new year going? Et cetera, et cetera. Even if people are just tuning in and leaving it on in the background, I uh, appreciate it. God, that is kind of bad. I don't really like that image at all, but... Uh, Dali is not perfect. Might try mid-journey. Uh, coolest. Yeah, Shopify is way better. I have a call, great way to ring in the new year. <laughs> Windrider, yeah, I know how you feel. 
Dali sucks for text, but it's decent for images. I just, I, I can't really use this because it's just weird. I mean, I can if I don't care, so I, I guess I don't really care. So let's just do it. My journey takes too long. I want everything in ChatGPT. Let's just do it, whatever. I should rename it though. Um, Coolest T-shirts, twenty twenty-four. Okay, there we go. And then that, and then that, and then this. Everything's too slow though. It's like ChatGPT is the only one that is kind of quick. So the reason I'm doing these, I kind of explained at the beginning, but if you're just tuning in, the reason I'm doing these specific articles is I'm going for big, big keywords, like really big keywords. And then they're going to get translated. So when I press save on this, I might just post this one just to show my point. When was the last article posted? Uh, blog slash journal. Savable diffusion is not bad for t-shirt designs except for text. Yeah, it's always text. December the 30th, when? Uh, that was yesterday. Please be early. 7.30 a.m. Yeah, it will be fine. So once I hit save here, when's the next one to be posted? January the 1st. Oh, yeah, I'll have to change that. I'll change this. Um, set visibility day. Let's do like... What? Uh, 20... No, be. Okay, uh, let's just post this. And then I'll show you exactly what I mean. View this. So yeah, we have the whole article here. Looks amazing. Looks really, really cool. <laughs> and then if I do slash DE, if I'm not mistaken, obviously. Okay, so it capital doesn't work. It's instantly in German. Okay, it might take some time to translate, but the page has been made and I'm pretty sure they'll put it in German eventually, automatically. So we can check that by if I go to one of the older ones like this one and if I do slash D here this should be in German yeah perfect so it is automatic I didn't do that so let's uh, let's keep going that's one done one down I had a good one what was it sweaters did I already run the wrong one yep nice sweater it's a bit late for sweaters, but I guess because won't it be like winter in the southern head? Don't call me an idiot if I'm wrong here, but won't it be winter in the southern head hemisphere at the opposite time that it's winter here or something? So it's winter somewhere all year round, right? So it makes sense. I <laughs> hope that was right and I don't look really stupid. Um, okay, so now make a another product table with these products um but yeah woocommerce it was a headache fixing it but yeah honestly woocommerce is just awful <laughs> I, re I really don't like wordpress it's it's fine if you're an expert on wordpress but even then it's like not fine it's too easy to make mistakes with it whereas with shopify it's hard to do a bad job in, on Shopify, in my opinion. Uh, do you use Stable Diffusion, by the way, Hamish? I can't remember. Yeah, I've I've played with it. I don't use it regularly, um, but I have played with it definitely. How's conversion tracking set up on Shopify? Even get yeah, it's it's better than WordPress, but it, it's still quite hard to get it right. But it should be fine. Do you recommend translating blogs? Is there an easy Shopify plugin? Yeah, I'm so happy you asked that. <laughs> I am using eTranslate. Now, I didn't realize it was quite so hard um, to set up, so I apologize for just saying that it's easy. It's not easy to set up, but once you've set it up, it's absolutely amazing. It's such a good tool to use. So I do recommend this one. I do have a video coming. I just need to find a client who uh, doesn't have the plugin and wants the plugin and will also let me use their website as an example. 
Um, or we might just do it on one of our practice sites or something. But yeah, uh, this is the one I use. It's 20 bucks a month, and it's absolutely amazing. It's 20 for 20 languages. If you're selling worldwide, this is what you need. And it's literally doubled our traffic. People say it's backlinks, but it's just not backlinks. It's not backlinks. Backlinks play a small part, and they're going to get us on the first page for Kiton in America eventually. But the real power came from, came from this, for sure. Um, I've got to keep on top of things while I'm reading chat, guys, so I will reply to everything. It'll just take me a bit of time sometimes. Uh, now... Do I have to send that prompt again, or will it just remember the prompt? I guess I should just send it again. I'll put this in a notepad. Notepad. This should be... What was the... Best sweaters for men. Should I just do best sweaters? Best sweaters for men 2024. Best, should we do Italian designer? Nah. So a lot of people say as well, like, I already have an article that is ranking for this kind of keyword, so I'm stupid and this doesn't work, but, like, I think writing a better article and a more up-to-date one is a really, really good way to get traffic. So I don't actually agree. I don't agree with that at all. Best was Yeah, like, 34. Okay. Nice, perfect. This is a really good one then. So, notepad, yeah. Best sweaters for men. Man. Okay, perfect. Scroll down. Well, I don't need to actually. Okay, now while that's writing, I can read the chat. Yeah, Shopify's way better. You've got plenty of content queued up. Are you posting one article per day? Um, I was. I'm now going to start posting a little bit more. Um, I do have to do this carefully because I might accidentally post uh, too many, but I, I, I feel like two men has good trust now and these articles have good value. So, because what it's doing is it's writing about the products if you look at it. Like, so it's, write, it's writing about the business, it's writing about the products, it's internally linking, and it has the product tables. So I think I can get away with one every 10 hours, but we'll see. Uh, 12 hours. Yeah, uh, I will send you something in Discord for S Stable Diffusion, one of my AI personas that's set up with descriptions for it. Nice. What are your thoughts on bloggers running display ads to their blogs? It's the most consistent way of monetizing a blog, I would say, because I don't think, I think affiliate is fine, but like, I, I have made very few sales from affiliate, whereas I actually made, on Azoic, I've made like $300. I haven't, um, taking any of it out, but I've got like loads of money just sitting around in things that I just, yeah, I don't know, like affiliate things and like Shopify affiliate and blah, blah, blah. But I just haven't withdrawn. I don't know why. It's just sitting there. Uh, okay. I should really be, I should really push Shopify affiliate more because all I ever do is talk about how amazing it is. And at the end of the day, like, I am a big believer in the product, so I, I really should push it more. I don't know why I don't. It, it could be a significant income increase for me, to be honest with you. Okay. Yes. No. Why well, did that? Okay. I want to see. Yeah, no. Nah. That hasn't got the idea at all, mid-journey, no. Uh, now, make the feature image. Yeah, exactly, Jaden. That's kind of what I'm doing in this stream, to be honest with you. Like, I already had a load posted. Um, I would I'd, I'd ideally, what my... Kind of goal with two men is to outgrow iSuit, which has been in business since well, it's it's been a website since two thousand and fourteen. Whereas two men hasn't even got sixteen month history yet on on Search Console. So like, and it actually has more index pages. So my my goal right now 
is to get two men bigger than I suit. Just, <laughs> I don't know, just because I think that would be funny. It's not really like for any reason. I'm not expecting anything from it. I won't get anything from it, ever. <laughs> it's just funny, I don't know, yeah. I'm not really getting anything from, from doing this. But whatever, I don't really care. I just need to check something quickly that I haven't already written this blog post because I feel like I recognize that featured image. Yeah, best cozy sweaters for men. Yeah, I don't, Mr. Cash, I don't work for them. <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. I don't work for them. I, I get, yeah, I work for an agency and they are a client of the agency, but I do way more work for two men than any other brand just because it's like a passion project for me. I think best cozy sweaters and then best sweaters, they are two different things. So I'm just going to go for it. This is the kind of thing that um, what they do does. This is like GQ and stuff. Best sweaters for men. Yeah, 3 million impressions is actually crazy in 12 months look at that year from 27 clicks and 915 impressions to 20,000 impressions and 439 clicks i'm super happy with the results mr cash i'm mainly just doing it for like a cv thing like just to prove i can not even cv it's just like it's for my youtube channel really just to it, i think like unless you've grown a website to a thousand clicks a day then you can't really make YouTube um, content about it. That's just, that's how I feel about it anyway. Um, and I already did that with iSuit, but everyone was saying, oh, it's just because it's an expired domain. It's an old website. Anyone could do that. It's easy. And then two men came along and, and my boss, my old boss needed a website and I just said I would do it. Um, I didn't even, I mean, he gave me a phone for it. <laughs> And that was it. But yeah, it is what it is. I, I, I'm not really that motivated by money, um, to be honest with you. Like, I am, but money that comes from the right place, if that makes sense. So I, Because I was his employee, so like, it's fine. I just did it because I was his employee. I kind of gave him the website, to be fair, because I know how hard it is to get a website. In Italy, it's really, really hard. The agencies in Italy are not good at all. And I didn't want to leave him with some crap website, so I just offered to do it for him. <coughs> Have any of your sites been penalized for creating too many backlinks? No. The agency that I work for now has a very, very good backlinking uh, process. It works really, really well. Um, it's slow, and it takes time. But the best bank link, backlinking is slow and takes time. Now you can go for like the black hat stuff, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't go down that route because it's all it's all temporary if you go down that route. Um, that's something that people don't really tell you is that yeah you can get to hundred thousand clicks a month or whatever very very quickly, but then it can just drop down the the next day. So I prefer to do things slow and uh, steady. Except with content, I'm pretty aggressive with content, to be honest. Anyway, uh, I'm getting distracted. Nice clothes for men. Hmm. I wonder what comes up when you search that. I wonder if it's blog posts. If it is, I'm going to write one. Hmm. No. Not a single blog post was seen that day. Hmm, nah. Good sweater for guys. I would like to see this cargo one again, but I've already written it. So, yeah. Let's see what the other methods have. Yeah, these are good too. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I need to check I haven't already done this exact article. <laughs> Suit for wedding. Can't see it. Hmm. 
Best suits for wedding. Two men. Diet. Oh yeah, I have done it. But in 2023, how is this ranking? If this is ranking well, I'm just not, I'm not even going to touch it. Uh, that includes... Uh, where's Search Console? I closed it, obviously. Oh, no, it's there. That includes uh, translated pages as well, so we'll just have a look. I think I saw that this blog post was doing pretty well. Mm. You know, I I don't think that's... that That's not that good. That's honestly not that good. This is like a long-ass article as well, like... Yeah, nah. I'm going to rewrite this. Um, should I try something? Should I replace this content with new content, or should I write a whole new article? What do you guys think? That could be an interesting test. Mm. I could have write a new article, though. I think I might just write a new article, yeah. My articles right now are really exploding, so... I mean, that one that I wrote uh, in the, uh, on December the 4th almost has as many impressions as this one, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to rewrite. So, best men's suit for wedding. And then we'll just go to the Python tool. That's the auto blogger. Close that. Don't save. I hope I didn't just lose something. <laughs> the classic. Why did I do that? Uh, we'll do suit. Is there a specific suit that you should wear to a wedding? Should uh, Wedding. Uh, it shouldn't be black. I think you can wear a black suit to a wedding, right? Can you wear a black suit to a wedding? I think you can, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can wear a black suit to a wedding. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, whatever. So then we'll go suit. And then we'll run the script. I think I really need to reduce this just because it's not giving me as many products and I'm worried about that. I'm going to have to work on that for a second, guys. Uh, just give me a sec. Can you remove this scripts? Um, the scripts scraping function and reduce it to only look for which match the filter in the sitemap. Don't mess it up, ChatGPT. Do you think three blog posts a day on a new site would be too much? Probably. Probably. It's really hard to say. It depends. Um, if the quality's good, then it's fine. But you can do more pages and stuff. <laughs> Being two enough, one shotgun wedding's amazing. How sick a guy can look in a black suit when holding it twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, black suits are fine for weddings. I don't know why I even... Thought that. One sec, let me just work on this. Is this gonna work? Yes. Yeah, it works. Nice. So what this does is it removes the descriptions. What is that? That's a track. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Track suit, no. Um this is also giving me track suits, which don't work. What's a way around this? <laughs> Do you ever spin your content and then post it on other sites? I mean I know it works, and I know I should be doing it, but I'm just really lazy. <laughs> I'm not doing more work for my old boss than he, than I already am, to be honest with you. If I had a team, if I had a full SEO team, I could honestly get two men to be just so ridiculously big. But, um, yeah. If I had a whole team, like I'd just be unstoppable, honestly. But I'm kind of a one-man band. I mean, I have a team now, but like, they they're really busy with other things. They can't. I can't just rely on them for everything. Obviously, we work together, obviously, and you know, we we do things together. But I I am kind of a one man team, one man army. But uh, Julian Goldie has some really good content on that for sure. I'll give I'll give credit where credit's due. I'll make a table. About these products. It does remove the price though. I do kind of want the price, but it just takes so long to get it. I think this is probably fine. 
Do you think it's better to optimize for non-transactional keywords for Parasite SEO? Otherwise, they might outrank your own main transactional keywords. Um, that's such a complicated question. I think I think I mainly focus on growing this the actual website instead of Parasite SEO, just because for me that's kind of the point of SEO is to bring traffic to your website. Please include more products. How come you don't start your own agency? I think you have the platform now. I mean, I kind of am in a way. I'm not starting my own agency, but I'm I'm partnering up with an agency. <laughs> Yeah, but, but yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do half of the things he does on on a website like this. Definitely not. That's true. I just I stay clear of black hat SEO just because yeah, I don't really see the point. You can get really good results with white hat SEO. So I think black hat SEO is for impatient people or people who don't have real brands. They just have like. Um, pump and dump brands and things, which is fine as well. It's you know it's fine, but it's no it's no way to build a brand. You can't build a brand on pump and dump. You have to build a brand on constant, you know, working on it and blah blah blah. So I mean, obviously, I don't do anything for this business anymore except uh, I do both the live chats. Don't ask me why, and I do the SEO for. I only want to do the SEO for two men, but yeah, my old boss really wants me to do it for iSuit as well. But I just, I really don't, I, I have no interest in doing it for iSuit. Like zero, zero percent interest in doing any <laughs> content for iSuit, but it is what it is, yeah. Kind of have to, so. But that's fine. It's not so bad, it's six blog posts a month. Uh, what am I doing? So now, now, right, no, we go here, we go here, we go here, we go, yeah, and we go, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> that's super right, there we go. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this part of my prompt. Um, you can find everything in the chat if you're just joining. I'm just using this part of the prompt to write the article. And I have some custom instructions as well, but they're not really... It's not doing internal links. Can you please ensure you're internally linking to the brands, please? That's a really good question, Mr. Cash. I'm happy that you asked. What is the difference between ISU and two men? Now, I will tell you what the difference is. And this is super interesting. Thank you for asking that. When I joined the company, Port Camo, uh, almost three years ago, ISU was a website that had been, um, been live since 2014. When I joined, it was getting 100 clicks per day on Search Console, okay? Then I took over the SEO, and I took it to 1,100 clicks per day. It's still getting about 950, something like that every single day. I will show that because <coughs> when you make a claim on the internet, you do have to show things. Otherwise, people will assume that you are a liar. So I will show that quickly. I can't show you that it was only getting 100 clicks per day because it's more than 16 months ago. Um, so if I put it on 16 months, you can't see when I joined all the way back here. Um, but it was getting 100 clicks per day. You can see it's slowly growing here. So now we kind of get like 1,000, you know, just around 1,000 to 800 kind of range every single day, which is fine. It's pretty good. Now, Two Men is um, the same business selling the same brands, just it's the newest collection that we have in stock. 
So when we receive a new item, it goes on two men, and then yeah, it, it's uh, it's the new collection basically. So it's all the same brands, it's all the same SEO, everything is basically exactly the same. But I made it on Shopify myself. Instead of it being made on Magento by an agency, I made it in-house. And the guys do all the delivery, um, all the orders that come in. My old colleagues, you know, I used to be in the, in the middle of the business doing everything with them as well. And yeah. That's what Two Men is, but it's the same company. So if I look on, if you look on the about us, uh, this is my old boss here, Pier Giuseppe, um, and yeah, this is the about us page that I made. I'm still on here, obviously. Uh, yeah, that is the difference between Two Men and iSuit. So my goal is just to outgrow iSuit in two years. Well, in th this is the second year, so in one year now. Uh, how do I go about getting do follow contextual backlinks? Um, I am not the right person to ask that question to. However, we will be making backlinking videos um, just with uh, Craft, which is the agency that I work for. We will be making all those kind of videos. We have Dagon who can who you know will come on and talk about backlinks and things because I just I don't know how to answer your question. Like I know how to do it, but like I'm I'm just not the right person to to give you an answer to that question. There are so many people who are better than me at backlinking and things. But, I mean, just as an overall thing, you can use Helper Reporter. Every time you start a new website, sign up to this website as a source and apply to... Um, apply to... They, they give you uh, emails every day. Reply to some emails and you might get some backlinks that way. That's one way to do it. Anyway... I don't want to talk about backlinks just because I just don't build them. So, two men, Cesare Tellini. Only use backlink once. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Cash, thanks for that question. Nobody really asks me that. I guess a lot of people already know, though. But yeah, uh, it, it's it's an interesting history. I was I was happy there, but I just felt like I couldn't grow anymore. Like the, the there was limits to my growth. Um, which I don't have anymore. So, yeah. I'm not a fan of being limited on my growth at all. Um, once I feel like I've hit the ceiling, then it's de it's really demotivating for me. And I kind of felt like I'd hit the ceiling there. So that was all it was. No bad feelings to them at all. I loved it there. Uh, I really, really enjoyed working over there. But yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I don't have a stake in either of them. <laughs> I don't I don't have a stake in either of them. I wish I had a stake in either of them, but I don't. <laughs> I'm doing this because I'm passionate about SEO. That's literally the only reason. So yeah, I'm not I'm not out competing anyone. Yeah, I really wish I had a stake. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean by yeah, ceiling. If I had, had if I had 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 a stake then it would be different, but yeah. Okay, this looks good. Let me just double check everything. It is linking to kit on suits, I think I just saw. I was going to add it to link, but I think I just saw it was actually linking to it. Yeah, it is. Oh, was it linking to kit on? No. So let's link to kit on here, just because I, I always need to leave a link to kit on. Uh, that's the wrong way around. No, it's not. Yeah, it's just a passion thing, honestly. Thanks, Windrider. Happy New Year. It's already New Year for you, obviously, but... Um... There we go. Yeah, Mr. Cash, tell me about it. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm kind I I know that I'm kind of being like I know it's kind of stupid, but it's not really out of nice. I'm not doing it to be nice. I'm doing it because I'm just so fixated on growing this 
site. Because no one has done any SEO on this website except me, uh, except some backlinks. Which is kind of annoying because now everyone's going to say that it's just the backlinks, but it's really not. Uh, people need to look deeper into it if they think it's just the backlinks. Now make a featured image for this blog post. It's the translation piece for sure that has made all the difference. Especially in terms of clicks. I wish there was a way to show that. How can I show that? Mm. I probably have to do red checks. How many clients am I working with now? Um, and overall, it's uh, not all of them. So some there's like a split between who um, came through the channel and who the agency already had, basically. There's about 20 in total clients. So I've, that's why I have all these different methods of... Um, of writing content and like efficiently writing content. Mm, I don't know if I like this. I, I wonder if I can get, can you give me a regex for set to filter for any um, href line tag pages such as AR for Arabic, FR for French. I've never been able to get regex to work, but maybe ChatGPT can can help me. No, not query page. Regex. I don't know how this works. Oh, is that going to work? Oh, actually, no way. Nice. I didn't know this. Okay, okay, okay. So it is possible. So yeah, you can see it's um, it's like almost one hundred percent to do with the <laughs> with the translation piece, and because it's a global brand, like like twenty one thousand impressions just on translated. That's crazy high. Yeah, Mr. Cash, I think so. Um, I think backlinking helps build a more solid base, but like it's definitely to do with the translation piece as well. Like, I mean, just look at it. 20,000 clicks in, well, let's do the last three months. 13,000 clicks in the last three months out of, yeah, 27. So it's basically doubled the traffic just by adding a plugin. Which is completely crazy. I wasn't expecting that. That was one of the last things I did before I left the company was I translated um, using eTranslate, just everything. I remember doing it on the last day. I was just like, screw it, let's just see what happens. Best suits for men's wedding. No, best <laughs> men's suits for wedding. It's not my shop, no. They they do make good money and um yeah it's fine it's fine it's fine I was an employee there I, I'm not bitter about it or anything he taught me a lot my old boss he really did I, I I have a lot of respect for him he's a complete crazy bastard but I have a lot of respect for him um I think he's he's a genius he's got the instinct he's got instincts that I just haven't seen before like about negotiation and making deals and things like that. And that's really taught me a lot about um, running a business and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I learned a lot there. And he took me on when I had no, <clears throat> I had no formal SEO experience. That was kind of the point. It was like a stepping stone. Sometimes in life, you just got to take step stepping stones. So I was actually being paid, when I started, I was being paid 700 euros a month for full-time SEO work. And many people would have said, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. But in life, sometimes you just need to take, you know, like a lower thing at the beginning to get the higher thing at the end of it. And I've always thought like that. And I had no formal SEO experience. And I went to an interview and yeah, he, he gave me the job. And 
that's how I got into SEO, like professional SEO. So I did have obviously freelance experience, but I had no official SEO experience in a company. You earn on commission? No, I don't earn anything. Um, I get, um, yeah, he does, Mr. Cash. Um, he does know because basically, super men mentor. I am an employee slash partner, but employee of um, an agency, and this website is still a client of that agency. So technically, I'm just doing my job, but I do like 60 blog posts or 20 blog posts a month or something. So um, instead of the six, because it's, it's more of a passion thing and it's more of a thing for YouTube and I want to make content about the website and et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's kind of, yeah, that's, that's my logic behind it all. Um, it's kind of nice to talk to people about this, you know, because I, I never really talk about this. <clears throat> Not for any reason. I just, yeah, I just never talk about it. Maybe I should make a video explaining everything. That could be a good video, actually. Because I guess I haven't really talked about it. Like, a lot of people don't know why the hell am I doing this. But, yeah, it's just a passion thing. Like, I really, really just want to see this website explode. And then, yeah, we'll go from there, I guess. They do do a lot of work behind the scenes. I will say that now. Like, a lot of the sales come from uh, clients on iSuit. So, obviously, that doesn't affect the organic traffic. The organic traffic, is, I, I credit to me. But a lot of the sales on two men are customers of iSuit. So, yeah. I just I think that's an important distinction to make. Anyway, let's save this. Uh, yeah, I started out at $10 an hour. Uh, then had two raises eventually. And $20 an hour, my first job, I did a bit of freelance. Then my next job was a 10 man contract for nearly two years. Then I took a break, worked for me. I really hope my job is for six weeks possible. Yeah. That's the way. Try and work on your own projects as well. Oh, I get it. Great history. Great job. I am trying to... Maybe I should put the chat on the screen. I did say I was going to do that. Can I get this to pop out? No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Great history. Great job. I am trying to use your tricks to boost my own e-commerce shop, which is quite a small business right now. I have a problem with GPT Markdown format. What's the problem? I can probably help you with that. Yeah, having your own job, having your own projects is super, super important. They're good for uh, CV as well, obviously, but or they're even better if they pop off. So, So yeah, this is kind of the idea behind these articles. I did notice something the other day, though. They did. They seemed a bit buggy on mobile. So I just want to double check that. Because I thought that it, Shopify was just automatically responsive. But, yeah, look. I mean, it's not too bad, but... I don't know if that's a super bad thing or not. Hmm. Why would it do that? Why is this not responsive? Wait, it's just added a description. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that. It's just added its own description. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, I don't think it's a huge issue. Like, I haven't picked up anything. So if we can check. Um, let's go on. You need responsive tables. But is it not just... Res I thought it would just be responsive. That's, That's messed up. How would I do responsive tables on Markdown? Is that even possible? Oh, maybe I can just add, uh, I can probably just add this to, to the theme, right? I can probably just do this actually on, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. It's fine. You can't, 100% width should work.
Interesting. Um, I might just be able to do that in here, right? In the actual theme settings. Yeah, the problem with that is I have solid digital. Is I have I have like thirty blog posts that I need to do that to. So I'd rather just do it to the CSS. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'll, I'll do this probably another time. I, I I know it's a problem and I know that I can fix it, so it, it's not too big an issue. I will. I just want to check something though. If it actually comes up as a HTML error on Search Console or not, because it should, because it should be content wider than screen, right? Uh, I need one with a table. Yeah, this one. This one's got a big table. I never used Shopify, but built my own website. How did that? How did that go? Uh, do you check AI detection or do you manually index it? I I don't do either of those things. I I never check for AI detection and I never manually index blog posts. If my blog posts don't get indexed automatically. Um, I know I have a problem. I feel like I have a problem anyway. Yeah, so this has got a table. Let me just inspect this. Yeah, so let me refresh that. Well, now you're just playing with me. That, that's, that can't be right. Really? Is it that messed up on mobile? Nah, surely not. This has to be a bug. Can people look at it on, on mobile? <laughs> that can't be right, really? Nah. Yeah, I do. I can't show. I can't show the. I wish I could. Sh I've, I've shown the sales in one video as like an Easter egg, but you you would be very hard pressed to find that specific video. But I can't show the earnings and things just because it, it's not my website. It wouldn't be professional to. To do that, so I just want to see if this actually comes up as an HTML error. Because if it does, I'll have to fix it. But if not, I'm I don't really care. I can probably just do it on the on the code. Um, how would I do that? Oh, I could add it to the yeah yeah I know how I could do it. I could add it to the. Um, the blog page CSS. Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah, that works. I don't even have to code. I can just go on here. I'll just do this quickly, guys, just because um, it, it does need to be fixed. Yeah, I don't do that stuff anymore, Mr. Cash. That, that's up to them now. I gave them the building blocks. I showed them how to use the building blocks, and now I just do the SEO. I, I, I didn't want to be stuck, like, changing pictures. Do you know what I mean? Like, Oh, can you change this picture for us? It's like, just do it yourself. It's so easy. No, I don't add FAQs. I don't recommend adding FAQs. Slavic, that can happen. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, for sure. Custom CSS, here we go. Right, I should be able to change this. It doesn't say there's an issue, though, interestingly. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll tell you what the problem is with AI detection tools. It encourages people to write bad chat GPT content that no client will be like, oh, yeah, I really like how this content's written. People don't want Shakespearean language. They want simple, direct, you know, language. And... If you try to be AI detection, basically the only way to do that is by using Shakespearean language. So, um, okay, can you give no way? I need to go on the other ChatGPT one. Do we have custom CSS here? Oh yeah, what's the? I shouldn't be doing this now. It's just now I've got it in my head. I need I need to do it quickly. I need to know the HTML of the table. Uh, it should be easy, right? It should just be table. <laughs> so that's the class. So I should just be able to select the class, right? Dot table with 100. Okay, let's try that. Should 
Should just be dot table. Does that work? <laughs> okay. If this doesn't work, I'll have to do it later. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, okay. No, it didn't. It didn't work. Sad. Too much CSS. I just need something simple. I will do this later if this one doesn't work. I'll probably just do it later anyway, actually. Let's go back to streaming. Uh, can you explain how you did the translation pieces? You meant, yeah, it's... Um... Wait, let me read these in order. Copy all HTML to GPT and ASCII to make responses. Yeah, I'll do that off stream. It's fine. I'll do it another time. Um, do you still consider Shopify best CMS, or would you use WordPress with Math whatever plugin? Good as well. Um, I would rather use Shopify if I'm doing e-commerce. I would probably use WordPress still if I'm doing uh, something else, or I might even use Webflow if I was doing informational stuff now. Uh, I will miss the cash at some point. Explain how I did the translation pieces. Um, it's it's more complicated than I kind of made people believe, so I apologize for that. It's actually really complicated, but I will go through it. It's just called eTranslate. You can probably work it out yourself, but I will make a video about it. But I recommend having at least like two thousand pages before even considering it, maybe a thousand. Anyway, let's go back to doing what we do best. So we've just write, written the suit article. Let's see. Maybe another suit article for funeral and just do black suits. I wonder how many black suits we have. Two men, black suit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love using Google to navigate the website. So, yeah, we only have one. Shame. Wedding guest. Yeah? Okay. I don't I don't have this blog I don't have this blog post. That's actually an amazing one. I just closed ChatGPT in my excitement. One sec, I'll read the comments again in a sec. Just uh, let me get back on. People, a lot of people like the custom GPTs. I actually don't like them that much. I think they're kind of overhyped. Some of my best performing videos recently have been about them, but yeah, I don't know. I thought they were pretty overhyped. Should I get different suits? May as well mix it up. Don't want to. I think actually that is an important part of it because otherwise um, Google might think they're too similar. Why does it always select the boss ones? Oh, we don't have that many suits, do we? How many suits do we have? Oh, we actually might not even have 20 suits. Wait. That would make sense, because I know that we don't have that many suits. How many suits are there here? Now, just in the list, each each two URLs is one suit. Come on, dude. And just how many are there? How many are there? Just tell me. 23. What? I was looking for 30 and there are only 23. Okay, I'm going to skip through suits then. Just because um, it's kind of annoying, because we only have 23 suits. No, let's not go for sweatsuits. What do we got? Best men's. What do we sell? What do we sell a lot of? Sweaters we have a lot of. Shirts. Best men's shirts for. Okay, comments. Can you explain? I will do that. By the way, you inspired me to do stuff with my website and my businesses. My moving company got some leads through your content. Thank you. I love reading comments like that. Thank you so much. A column, a five column table will end up being too narrow. A table isn't CSS. Yeah. I'll have to. Oh God. I'll have to look at this in more. I'll have to look it in some more detail, but I think for now it's fine. Best men's shirt for work. I like it. Let's do it. So we need shirts. And we can get rid of this. Uh, we don't have to get rid of it. 
Um, does this still work on a keyword that's... Yeah, don't even look at keyword difficulty. What's the point of looking at keyword difficulty? Just write the article and hope that you rank, basically. Keyword difficulty, it's just... It's not... It's, uh, it's not... It's, it's arbitrary. It's arbitrary. And at the end, end of the day, all the best keywords have high keyword difficulty. So once you have a, an established website... Now people are going to say, oh, now you just got an established website. But like, I made the website established by doing what I'm showing you in this video as well. So, uh, What am I doing with .py? Yes, thank you for asking. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to explain it in a bit more detail real quick. So. I have a whole GitHub. You can... I'll just explain it like this. It's fine. So what this does is it searches my sitemap. So on Shopify, the sitemap has the uh, URL of the product and it has the image URL. And just because of the way our web or the website is set up, all I need is that because ChatGPT can read that this is a black cotton sweater made by Hugo Boss. Okay. So what all I need is the image and the link to the product. So what I did was I created a script that reads this sitemap. So if you right click on your sitemap and save it, save as, and then put it in the same folder as this on the slide Visual Studio Code, and then run the Python script uh, and change this, which is the word it's looking for. So because I'm writing an article about the best shirts for work in 2024, I need a lot of shirts. So what do I do? I run the script. It gives me a list of shirts. I copy them and I ask ChatGPT to make a table of those shirts. That's the general idea. So I don't want over shirts either, to be honest with you. I just want shirts. So over shirt. Get rid of over shirts. These now should all be shirts. They're all Cesare Attilini though. So let's get rid of Cesare Attilini. Maybe this works. And I should just get kit on now. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's get rid of the word woman as well, actually. I don't want that again. Okay, so now we've got these and we've got these. That just gives me a bit of a better list because otherwise they're all going to be Cesare Delini, which I don't really want. So we'll get rid of like half of these. Okay, there we go. So now make a comparison table with three columns. Um, title, um, products, link. Wait, I'll just do, yeah, three, two, two columns. Title with link to product and product photo. There we go. Okay, let's read. Free SEO keywords tool. <laughs> is that a question? Keyword tool .io is free, okay? Ignore this. Who cares? You don't need to know the search volume. The reason you don't need to know the search volume is because it puts all of the really popular ones at the top. So best men's shirts for hot weather, etc. You see what I mean? You can now just assume that the ones at the top are the best ones, okay? There's a little tip for you. I don't want HTML. Why is it doing HTML? I guess maybe it's okay. Wait, is this better or worse? Stop. Please just use Markdown and give me all my, uh, give me a mix of different brands. Another free keyword tool is Google Ads Keyword Planner. Um, you, you've got to do some setup for it, but it's literally the best keyword tool in the entire world. And the other one that I use a lot is Answer Socrates. These all work by you understanding how to search inside them. And the way to search inside them is to think about 
what kind of articles bring a lot of traffic to you. So right now what I've been doing a lot of is best X for Y. So I type in best men's shirt. I could also write four. And then you kind of have a look here and you see what the results are. Okay. And it's, they're all completely free. Yeah, this is, this is going a bit, a bit pear, pear shaped. I think I'm just going to move into the playground because I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I deleted my, uh, I accidentally deleted my thingies. I was trying to reset the cache by accidentally deleted everything. So I no longer have the same, if, like if I go on, I don't have my history saved anymore. I deleted it like an idiot. Um, we'll go here. We'll go here. Actually, we'll go here. Yeah, we'll go here. You make comparison tables for articles. Take the products here and put them in a markdown columned table. Uh, Mr. Cash, that's a really good question. I'll answer that in a second. Uh, just want to see I haven't missed any, uh, what's it called? Messages. I'm sorry, was just doing a bunch of stuff, but yeah, what's your favorite branch of SEO in terms of G? Definitely e-commerce. I love e-commerce SEO. I didn't realize how good it was until I started doing e-commerce SEO. Wait. Oh, sorry. It was doing it. Uh, okay. uh, oh, I should make a. I might as well do two things at once. Make a. And I need to write the article as well, don't worry. My cat's distracted me, guys. Sorry. Where's the keyword? I've I've lost it. What was this? Oh yeah, best just for it. Yeah. Now write the article. Okay. I will make a video about my free uh, all the things that I use. Yeah, definitely. I don't have a video right now. People say that ChatGPT has got lazy and doesn't answer too many things anymore. Have you noticed this? I I think that's why I use the playground because when it's messing around, I'd rather just hop in the playground and get things done. But yeah, I have noticed that. It's also sarcastic a lot of the time. It does like you think it's going to understand what you're trying to ask it to do, but it it decides to just do it in a really weird way that doesn't make any sense but technically follows what you said but in a sarcastic way if that makes sense i don't know i've definitely noticed that the best men's shirts for work in 2024 i love it i cannot believe i haven't written this before oh thank you solid digital i really really appreciate that that's amazing you must be british because it's Pounds, so it's very close to being New Year's Eve and uh, New Year for you. So happy New Year in 13 minutes' time. Nice. I still have to wait an hour, but oh wait, no, I'm in the same time zone. I got confused, guys, because my my computer's in Italian time. It's still an hour and 13 minutes until 2024 for GMT. Cheers. Beautiful content. For e-commerce, I want to start a new branch of business. And it's going to be my first e-commerce related to coins and banknotes. Shall I reply everything you... Re re yes. <laughs> Shall I reply everything you've done to suit uh, to my business? Yes. Yes, you should. I'm going to head out for dinner. Thanks for answering all my questions. Look forward to learning from all your future videos. And I hope you have a happy new year. You too, Mr. Cash. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending even a small portion of your last 
parts of 2023 with me. I appreciate that. Uh, Got to keep in the zone here, guys. Otherwise, we're going to slow down significantly. I need a featured image. Do you have to supply the products for a Shopify store yourself? Or can you use affiliate products? Like collections from Amazon, for example. Um... You actually can, you actually can use Shopify for affiliate. I know someone that did this and they had good success and they sold the website. Uh, I didn't talk, I haven't talked about it on this channel just because it was ages ago and there's no point talking about it because I don't, I don't really have any proof that it was me because they changed the author and blah, blah, blah. But it, it was me and I did grow their website massively as well. Um, and they were using Shopify and what they did was they changed the buttons so just go to the affiliate website. So they change the buttons into an affiliate link, basically. So, yeah, it's definitely possible. Best for work. If you're just tuning in, guys, and you're wondering why I'm doing this, I have a, uh, a, a certain virus. That I don't want to. Men I don't want to say the name of in case it just randomly gets me uh, demonetized. But yeah, I have a virus and I can't do anything. So instead, I am spending my New Year's Eve writing some content. Let's just change this to description. I've just noticed something. These meta descriptions are pretty terrible. I have to rewrite some of these. Oh, also, I need to yeah remove that. That would be a really good idea. Um... Looking to step up your business casual attire in the new year. Learn more about the best Italian men's designer shirt shirts for work in 2024. Don't uh, for work, including classic menswear brands such. As Cesare Artellini, Giton, Barber, Napoli, and much more. Spring, summer, fall, winter, we have something for every weather. Okay, whatever. Okay, set visibility. visibility. Let's do. I, I need to make sure I'm not just like posting every hour accidentally. Mm -mm -mm. So is bothering with any kind of web development that important? Mm, very minimal amounts of web development are needed. So I actually made the mistake when I started Two Men. I made a big mistake, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly what that was. I tried to make a lot of customizations to it. The problem is, once you customize a theme, what happens is when there's a Shopify update, you have to recustomize the theme in the same way. So what I did was I tried my best to do everything without customizing any of the theme. So yeah, web development, it's not that important if uh, you're using something like Shopify or WordPress, to be honest with you. Very, very minimal amounts of web development. Just use everything out of the box, otherwise it's going to be slow as well. That's another thing that I I try and push. I just use, I mean, it's hard to get something to look nice. So if you're more of an aesthetics person, I'm probably not the best person to listen to on this. If you're a brand or a branding person and you have a WordPress website, it's kind of a little bit different because you want your website to look good. You don't want it to look like absolute crap. So it's a little bit different in that respect. But if you're just not that bothered about what things look like and you're on WordPress, then it's really, really easy to... Just make a very, very quick website that um, just has really quick load speeds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just need to check when. When is this getting? When are these getting published? Fifth and sixth, and everything else is published. Second, second. Okay, we're fine. So nothing's being published on the third at ten. So we'll do the third at ten. Third of ten. God, my nose is so stuffed. It's actually crazy. Uh, the third at ten a.m.
Okay, so. Thanks for all you do. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Best wishes. Thanks, Slavic. So you would forgo the Shopify checkout process and link directly to the... Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's how I would do it, and that's how that website did it as well. I know that they had some success. They were in one of the most difficult niches in SEO. Uh, I would love to talk about it. I can't really talk about <laughs> that niche, but yeah. Um, I just ask because there's a lot of hype out there about tech people making lots of money, but it's not for everyone. I like digital marketing more, but I do know so. So, Walpole, what I would look at if I had more time or if I didn't have my channel, if I was just looking for ways to make money right now, I think one of the best ways to make money right now is to make a tool that uses an API, an AI API, to do something that was previously considered very difficult, but is now considered easy with AI and make it super accessible for everyone so that even like old people can pick it up. And then kind of just use that as a SaaS and maybe put display ads on it if that can make a profit or something. That's how I would do it, personally. My old boss even said marketing is a lot in demand in 2023. And it was, yeah, it's massively in demand. Marketing is massive right now, honestly. Every, everyone's got brands and things. And people are sick of the old guard of digital marketing. A lot of agency, a lot of people have been burnt by different agencies and things. So... Yeah. Drink lemon tea, I will do. Really spicy paprika. <laughs> I don't know about that. I've got some tiger balm here. Oh, no, it's Vicks. Vicks vapor rub. I can barely smell it, which is crazy. But I'm, I'm someone with a good immune system, so don't, don't worry about me, guys. I'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> I've got a really, really good immune system, so... At least for now, I'll be fine. I'm not worried about having this problem. I just don't feel amazing. Um, big guys, hot weather. What we can do here is we can just write this article because it's really good. We have a lot of linen shirts and things, so I might just look for... Oops, I don't want to save that. My, I might specifically look for linen. I can't remember how it's written, though. Um, yeah, so it's written like that. So cotton shirt. No, linen. Linen shirt. Is that going to work? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess cotton's also fine. If it, Can I just add... Linen and cotton are fine. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Oh, no. Yeah, it does. Uh, Cotton, cotton, cotton. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these. I already did. Never mind. So we'll copy from here. Ah, uh, they're all linen and cotton. It's fine. They're kind of mixed. It's all good. So we'll do this. Now do these products. I'm very glad I started live streaming because I had no idea what to do today. <laughs> it's nice that I can just live stream and, you know, 10, 20, 30 people tune in at a time and chill. I, I really like that. It's a really, really nice thing to have. And it's good for the channel too. Live streaming is very, very good for the channel. I need, I need to see more of it. I enjoy it as well. I enjoy it a lot. Sorry about the sniffling, guys. I'm, I, I, know, I know that's not great. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but there's not really much I can do about it, so... It is what it is. Oh, Playground has frozen, apparently. Oh, dear. Where can I post this paint? I haven't seen this freeze in... I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen it freeze. I haven't seen that before. My computer obviously doesn't enjoy live streaming.
Yeah, NZ fade. It's interesting you say that. I think I'm going to be looking at fine tuning um, to make it kind of do better on certain niches. If I can find a way to easily fine tune based on someone's business, then. Sorry, one sec. Yeah, if I can find a way to. What is this? What's this doing? Yeah, if I can find a way to fine tune easily, like get enough information about business to fine tune around and then have your own model for each uh, business, that is super powerful. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there because I, I had a problem where it froze. Fine tuning is very interesting to me. Very, very interesting. Um, what was I going to do differently? No, it's fine. Why is it just added? Whatever. Okay, so each time I, I'm going to add the table to the chat GPT prompt just so it knows what to write about like which brands to internally link to etc I don't know how long have I been live for about an hour and 30 we've done five articles I think maybe four it's not that good but I do have high hopes for some of these one two three four yeah I've only done four it's not that good to be honest with you it's hard to read chat at the same time though I'll, I'll give myself that Okay. Is what? Very slow, yeah, no, I'm, I can definitely do this a lot quicker if I'm not streaming. Also, I think there's a lot of merit in taking your time with these things, because it's easy to make mistakes, and it's easy to... Like, if you make too many mistakes, and Google gets a bad, uh, like, vision of you, then you're kind of screwed, so... That's H2. That's H2. That's H2, that's fine. I coded a Python script to bulk create articles. Ah, uh, yeah. So much potential in it. It's actually been amazing to help with my coding this year, blogging, etc. A go to person that gives me answers, but it's censored and stupid now. My Python code logs into WordPress sites and navigates to the blog post, then clicks, etc. And uses ChatGPT to write it out for me, etc. Upload images is good, but I wish it was better. Yeah. Uh, NZ Fade, maybe you should look at. Um, like Vicuna or whatever, to be honest with you. Have you thought about that? I'm sure you thought about it. You just need a good computer, that's the only problem. Like a really, really good... You need a four, uh, R RTX 4090. I've got no idea, cool VX. VFX, I've got literally <laughs> no idea how to answer your question there, sorry. Let's write something. I'm going to try something here. Here's our top picks for 2024. Okay, beautiful. That's a really nice little added bit. There we go. I need a new featured image. Now I'll do this. Yeah, self. Yeah, exactly. Self-hosting your own AI at home, yeah. You can do it with uh, a few different ways. No, I just need... I, I just need... 
the featured image. Sorry, mate. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you if you can work it out, it sounds like you know what you're doing. Then that might be best for you. Are these all for hot weather? That is. That is. That is. That is. That is. Yes. 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 Yeah. These are. Yeah. You, you, mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely not for hot weather. <laughs> Yeah, you could probably get away with wearing most of these for hot weather. That's fine. Yeah, you really need um, a good setup to run your own uh, AI. Oh, that's a good one. Finally, a good one. Uh, best shirts for hot weather 2024 for men. The good thing about writing, the good thing about menswear as well is a lot of women shop menswear for like their husbands and things, which is like super, super useful because it just brings even more traffic to the website. So like, let's say you've, you, your partner and you were going on holiday, it's pretty likely that if they're interested in fashion or whatever, that they're going to search best shirts for men in hot weather and they might buy the shirts as well. Whereas women's fashion, like, I don't think it's as common for a man to buy, like, on Google, because, I mean, I wouldn't. I have, I have a fiancé, and I would never buy. I, would, I just wouldn't know what to buy. <laughs> like, I would just completely mess it up, so there's just no point. Whereas a woman kind of knows, and they might buy for, you know, their husband or whatever. I wonder if I should split the server Linux on one to host website, my own AI. Without censorship for my target markets on the other virtual machine, I'll look into it. I'm also a photographer. We use AI to take a great photo and make the subject smile. It's honestly, yeah, it's making people smile and things like that in photos. Is it are you using stable diffusion? Or you should make a tool that just makes that's a really good idea, actually. Just a tool that makes people smile on photos. Someone should make that right now and uh put display ads on it. These are not all for hot weather, but I'm not, I don't really care. Like, what's someone going to do? They're going to sue me for, because <laughs> they bought a shirt that I said was for hot weather, and it's not. Like, what are they going to do? Uh, I don't like these tables. I'll have to fix this as soon as possible. I really don't like these tables. I thought it was fine, but apparently it's not at all. But yeah. This guy... Looks like, I don't know, what, uh, Barbie Ken. <laughs> yeah, I guess. The important thing is it looks fine, the image. So that's all I really care about. I'm not trying to win any awards for best featured image 2024 or anything. Just, uh, yeah. Okay, so now I think we need to go on to the 4th of January. It's already been made. I use a face changing one. Great technology though. Yeah, nice. By the way, what you're doing here, it is it a shop with real shirts? Uh yeah. It's not my shop, but yes. Yeah, you can buy these shirts if you want to spend <laughs> three hundred euros on a shirt, feel free to uh buy one. You can buy them on two men dot it. And they're very expensive, but they are very nice shirts as well. Two hundred thirty-nine. There you go. It's not too bad. <laughs> One sec. Need some water. Thanks for all the content. I've learned loads. Always learning. Just want to say thanks and a happy new year. Happy new year, John Smith. Same to you. Come on, internet. Don't do this to me. Let's just keep writing for now. We can schedule them later. It's it's all good. Best men's beach shirts. We could just do pure linen here, I think. Actually. I think that's different, right? Warm weather and beach shirts. They're two different things. Let's run this again. We'll get a different list. 
and then we'll do the same thing. Uh, how many articles can you generate an hour? Lots of YouTube clips, I thought, yeah, but that's without any editing. Um, I can, I can probably do like 24 articles an hour if I'm just on my own and I'm not streaming or anything. But even if I could, I wouldn't because I would rather spend a bit more time making sure that they're actually decent as well instead of just trying to write as many as possible. I've had bad experiences in the past where I've just written as many articles as I can in an hour. A lot of them got messed up, a lot of them didn't get indexed, and yeah, it just defeats the purpose, so... I would rather go slower and not write as many. Now, welcome to Ukraine. I am bringing you maybe for 1020 EU. Pretty nice one. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't... I wouldn't necessarily recommend anyone buy these clothes to be honest with you. They are really, really nice. If you need, if you ever need a suit, then I've never experienced a suit like the one that I've got. I do really, really like it. Um, and then not too expensive. It's Sartorio Napoli. So it's about 300 euros. Uh, but yeah, again, like I was, if, if I hadn't been given it for free, I probably wouldn't ever spend that amount on, on a suit personally here's the next table i am giving you for context do you understand it's all about searcher intent yeah do you publish one a day and just schedule them i have recently been scheduling one per day i'm now trying two per day which is part of the reason that i'm streaming uh just because it gave me motivation the original idea for the stream was to make collections but I actually looked and the collections are not performing that well, whereas the blog posts are absolutely flying. <laughs> um, so if I do new here and I do collections, for example, they are doing pretty well, don't get me wrong. Like I'm happy with the progress here and a lot of these keywords are really, really good. Um, but just the clicks are a bit low and like the impressions 4,000. Whereas if I do blogs, you'll just see that the difference is just astronomical. So because... What I really want right now is as much traffic and impressions as possible just to kind of blow everyone away. Um, yeah, I'm doing blogs instead. I was going to do collections, but... When you bought your suit, are you even wear any time vest? Uh, I've worn it a load of times to weddings and things. I don't really understand the question. I don't wear vests, if that's the question. <laughs> Best men's shirts for the beach. Now write this article. I published one article a day, daily for the last five months. Our website's ranking between two and five. Used to be number one, then dropped in Google's years ago, finally getting back, almost back to number one. These are the kind of things that I love to read. Um, I've talked about this a lot on this channel, but there is nothing better you, you can do for your website than post content. So, yeah, I'm happy to read that because that sounds like exactly what you did. And it's worked. Almost back to number one. So really, really nice. I'm happy to read this kind of stuff, especially if, you know, any of it was inspired by what I do, then even better. Even if it's not, then just nice to read that stuff anyway. Um... Let's go here. I should store this after each one just because otherwise it's going to get annoying. Put that actually. Is our picks for 2024. Okay. Roy HTML. Yes. I'm trying to go too quick now because someone said I was slow. Now, me. The featured image. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You would not wear a Kiton shirt to the beach, by the way. Don't, just don't, never do that. Who's going to pay 300 euros just to go to the beach in a shirt? That's absolute madness. Some of those are not really good for the beach either, but like I said before, I don't really care. I just want the traffic. And there are people doing a lot worse than this on Google, so... <laughs>
best men's shirts for the beach to put it on. I hope this stream has been fun. I've enjoyed it. I had literally nothing else to do. So we're going to be streaming a lot more um, next year. So be ready for that for sure. I paid an SEO agency years ago and they got rid of my blog articles. We had had the drop before that. But with Google, you never know what will drop. Glad article making will run on content works. Yeah. By the way, how much time do you spend for making a fully contained website or web store with GPT, is it like magic click for one hour? No, it, it takes hours to make a good website. It takes a long time. It's a long process. It's a, it maybe takes me like two weeks uh, to make a good website. So this needs to be on the 4th at 10 a.m. Should be. Oh, I didn't see this. January the 1st, 9.30. Oh, yeah, that's the one I did earlier. So, yeah, it should be January the 4th. Yeah, at 10 a.m. Let's do 8.30 a.m. Beautiful. Save. I will read the comments in two seconds, guys. I'm just going to start the process of doing the next article very quickly. Um, best men's dress shirts for the money. I kind of like that keyword. How huh? does it have a decent amount of searches? See, look, this says there's only thirty searches per month, but you never know what it's actually going to rank for. It's an interesting one. I think I'm going to skip it there. Oh, for a cruise. Oh, these are. Two really good ones. I wonder how many searches that has. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's ignore that. Let's try something else. Uh, best men's pants for... Oh, wait, let's try. Actually, that's a really interesting idea. Let's try best men's pants and then put it on. Actually, these are, some of these are just good. I don't think I've written this. I'll read the comments in a second. One second. Let me just. Did I write this? I don't think I've written this. Oh, it's here. Let's see how it's ranking. If it's not ranking well, I'll just do another one. Oh, this is Lithuanian. It's supposed to be Lithuanian, but it's not. Interesting. Uh, let's just see how it's ranking, because if it's not got a ranking, I'll just do another one. Yeah, absolute trash. Okay, perfect. So... Let's do this, and then we'll change the Python script to look for pants, and then run it. That just gives us a list of pants. Are they all the same brand? We don't want woman or women's. Men's. Let's try that again. Oh, I should probably message my fiance saying Happy New Year because it's. Yeah, I should probably <laughs> just message my fiance right there saying Happy New Year. Oops, because it's past midnight. It's technically New Year in Italy now, so that was a bit of a oopsie by me. Okay, uh, let me just quickly start something so I don't get too distracted here. Is this without women's? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. 
now do these ones. Okay. Uh, let's read some of these comments. Your tutorials mainly go over blog posts, but about optimizing your money pages, like the collections of product images. Best pulse, the way I do that is by writing blogs and internally linking to those money pages. I don't bother with optimizing them because there's not really too much you can do. You can build backlinks to them. Do you do Zoom call consultations? Um, that's kind of, it's kind of a hard question to answer. Um, we have, uh, I work for an agency basically, but I mean, you can get in contact with the agency if you want. I do work for them. So you can send an email over and, uh, you'll be talking to Rowan. I've forgotten what the email is. <laughs> I'm trying to write the email in the chat. Dot IE. Okay. Like, uh, that's to Chris K, who said, do you do Zoom consultations? You can talk to Ryan there. All right, if, if it needs two ways to create a site, how much do you think it is charged? That is not hours based. It's it's like five to 10,000, I would say, for a Shopify website. Happy New Year to all. It's hard to find clients, though. Happy New Year to all. 2024, great year. You too. I want to rank on cats related stuff. Do you think it's worth to publish articles? For the same race resemble sphinx cats is it yeah you could do that that sounds good yep happy new year guys whatever you are in ukraine very quiet now fireworks in the second year i hope next year we are with fireworks i hope so too sphinx the christian waste yeah you could definitely do that you could definitely do that sorry guys i got a little bit distracted there because i was writing to my fiance saying happy new year i should really ring her but i did i, I did warn her that i'd probably be streaming and she said she'd probably be asleep anyway so um, here's the next product table. Just store this information. Do you understand? And then we're going to change this to, I've completely forgotten what this article is about. Yeah. Best, best pants for work in 2021. Can I put dress pants? Probably. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut off the title, so I'll just grab that. Might make this a bit quicker. Hasn't really internally linked to. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is this is what I was talking about when I said before. This is how I optimize in inverted commas the um, the money pages. I internally link to them. That's kind of the play. What the hell just happened? Okay. So I just did all of that to save time, and now I'm still going to move where I put the table because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So this should be the fourth at ten PM. I wonder if these will all get indexed. I'm very, very curious to see what happens here. This is a little bit risky on my part, but I feel like Google really likes my website right now. I'm saying my website. It's not my website, okay? Please don't suddenly think I'm lying. I just say my website because it's easier than saying my old boss's website or something. It's just easier to say my website. 
But like I said, it's not mine. I just work on it. So you're making an website from AI. Pretty much every single word is uh, written with AI. Yeah. What hardware are you using? Mainly CPU and GPU. It's free so fast. Then still with 2013. Uh, uh, G CPU Intel, but with first fastest GPU. I don't. I don't even know what the difference is. I'm so bad with computers, honestly. I don't even know what the difference is. Now give me a featured. Is it possible to publish the prompt? I've tried to use those and it seems to be working for me. I get output in HTML all the time. Um, yeah, I mean, the prompt is in the chat already. I'll, I'll put it in the chat again. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not even a particularly good prompt. It's just, um, I'm not really focusing on the content. It's more like the title of the article plus the, this is awful. Make it a bit less weird. Please, classic time. Um, yeah, it doesn't even give that good content, to be honest with you. It's more I'm focusing on the title plus the table is the play here. Did you see my question above? Yeah, uh, your tutorials mainly go over blog posts, but what about optimizing your money pages? I don't optimize them. Like the products, um, it's it's hard to explain uh, the products because it's just through a management system and not everyone has a management system. Uh, and everyone has different ways of getting products on Shopify and blah, blah, blah. So it's really, really hard to explain. But the products are already optimized because that's just how it works because the information is inputted for each product manually by the team into the management system. And then that management system is used to automatically upload to um, uh, to uh to the to shopify basically so it's kind of hard to explain i really hope i'm not showing something that's going to get me are you going to show me is this going to get me like hacked or something i hope not but this is the processor i really hope is this safe to show i don't even know has this got like my ip or something i'm probably just not going to show that actually yeah, you probably saw it if you wanted to see it anyway um i just i'm worried about my ip being on there or something i don't want to get yeah you know, people are crazy, so please make it less weird. What is this? Make it more, what's the word? Life style. For over six months, I have been trying to rank for easy keywords. I'm having no clicks or impressions. Which prompts can I use? It might be your strategy, not just the um, keywords and things. It's safe, okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> you never know. So I'm just smelling some Vicks vapor up there. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh, that really cleared my nose there. Beautiful. Thirty-five online. Yeah, I know it's great. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. It's really, really amazing. Best pants for men for work. It's kind of cool. It's very slow. This process when I'm responding to the chat, but. Uh, I was going to make a video of this and not live stream, but I just felt so like <laughs> I was just doing nothing. So I just thought I'd stream. So yeah, thanks everyone for, for tuning in with me. 10 p.m. I might make a coffee soon. This is good to go. Yeah. Yeah, my old boss should be very, very happy. <laughs> He's not though. He complains because he doesn't like these images, but like, I'm not going to spend time making good images. I just cannot be bothered. Like, can you imagine, can you believe that he complains? Like, how can you complain about this? No one should complain about this ever. This is not worth complaining about. <laughs> how can you complain about this? It's madness. 70,000 clicks. Madness. Absolutely. You just can't there's some you just can't please some people, honestly. <laughs> uh do you work with WordPress? I have worked with WordPress. I just don't really like it. Um I wouldn't recommend it necessarily unless you were you're working on um like a informational website. Then maybe. We've got a lot of genes. 
What I wanted to try is pressing prepositions here. I want to see if that actually gives some good results. Best men's jeans in the world. Oh, God. I don't like any of these. God, I'm so blocked. Best men's Italian jeans on a budget. Yeah, it depends on the type of site. I I think um what's it called? The Amazon one. Webflow. I think Webflow is pretty good as well. I've heard very, very good things about Webflow. Let's try keyword ideas. Best men's jeans for I'm worried that the process would not work for SEO for a domain in the United States. I mean, 99% of the traffic here is from the United States. If you um, if you look at countries, United States is the bulk of the clicks here. It's the most clicks by a huge, huge amount. So, I mean, it depends. I don't know. Do you just mean on the .com or do you mean in America? Because it works in America. It's working right now. Oh, thank you. Super mental. That's amazing. Thank you. I don't know how much 25 schlotty is in, in Euro, but thank you so much. I won't check that live, actually. That seems a bit weird to check, but <laughs> I don't know how much that is. That's so cool, though. Thank you. No, it's fine, best post. Don't worry. You don't have to say sorry. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's, it's even more interesting that it's a dot it, right? That a lot of the traditional wisdom around SEO says that you need dot com or dot co or you know whatever dot shop maybe uh what's the other one dot um what's the big one dot ai or dot io people say you need one of these tlids to or tld to um rank in america but like i've had amazing success with two men dot it now that might be the niche okay that might be the niche but it's possible i'm surprised your four core CPU ultra fast to me, Ryzen 4300, but I still want to upgrade to 182. I literally do not understand the words you're using. Like, I, I know what a good computer is and what a not, not good computer is. This one here costs 500 euros and it's served me for three years. So I use bricks with it. Hi, Abdenor. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of people say that you need. Um, dot com but apparently not uh i want something that is a little bit out of the way yeah io is a big one a lot of people use io let's have a look here mm. comfortable jeans It's a really hard question to answer that, which is the best method. I've tested all the methods and yeah, I need to test this one. But right now I think this is the best method. That's why I'm testing it in more detail. Google seems to like these big tables. Comfortable jeans for men. Now, the only problem with this is they're not necessarily that comfortable, these jeans, to be honest with you. In fact, they look bloody uncomfortable sometimes. I think maybe comfortable jeans works though. So we'll do this again. So we'll go jeans. Guys, I'm actually feeling pretty bad right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep going, I think, but like my left nose is just completely gone. <laughs> my left nostril, sorry. Not my left nose. I'm trying not to sniffle as well. I think that's probably why. This is the next point. Table store this information. Please do you understand. Um, you have great content. Thank you so much. For my strategy, I just follow with your videos, searching for keywords, and also including my collection of product pages that you previously showed. I wrote a few articles, but no impression. How old is the website? 
super mental. It's only a coffee, but I just want to say thanks. Thank you so much, honestly. Even if it was like one penny, like, I really do appreciate it. I also just appreciate that you're here spending time with me on New Year's Eve. I think that's amazing that so many people are here. Um, and yeah, spending time with me. So I got into this channel a few days ago and I'm really impressed. Not one, none of, not many to show all the stuff on real working with real results. I appreciate that a lot. Super mental, thank you. I'm not good on SEO, mind. Yeah, it's complicated. What about your auto blogging method? The auto blogging method is the quickest method and it is ranking very well for me. But I've noticed that this method that I'm doing right now potentially is going to rank better. So I might change the auto blogging method to do this, but I need, I need time. Um, and yeah, I need, I need time to test things. What are your feelings on the number of internal links? Sometimes trying to do just where it makes sense can potentially lead to too many if you have a big website. I agree. I used to do 15, now I do five. And I just focus on a smaller amount of products or collections. By the way, is Adobe Muse, I've never used it, uh, used for creating web content because I see you do heavily just coding. I've never used Adobe Muse. I, I don't know what that is. I didn't even know that existed. Okay, and then I need to change the notepad to say, uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't make the table, did I? Oops. That's okay. We can make the table at the same time. It doesn't actually have to be a table to be put into ChatGPT. Now I'll do this. Yeah, actually, this is quicker. So. This has been a great success. I love live streaming. I actually prefer doing it uh, at the office with Rowan. Um, definitely it's more fun and it's more professional as well but I also like doing it at home it's nice to just do it it's it's chill the studio is amazing uh, Rowan did an amazing job with the studio I don't know if people have seen it but if you haven't seen it you should definitely check out some of the other live streams that we did recently I've lost my chat there there it is. How do you decide on two articles versus one? For example, how do you, what do you do men's t-shirt for cruisers and men's clothing for cruisers? They're too similar. They're definitely, they're too similar. You need to, it's like, um, I would say that a different one would be men's shirts for cruisers and men's shirts for yachts, for example, would be two different ones. But if you're just changing kind of a word that is semantically the same, then you just do one article, not two. I hope that makes sense. Uh, how do you decide on, oh, I read that. How do you see trends in Google keywords? At Planner, what you do is you click on the trending column, three month change, which is exactly what I did to find this one right here. Ooh, soft jeans for men, interesting. I think we might have some soft touch denim. Will that show up though? No. Damn. That's okay though. That's not an issue. Okay, so we have the table. And we have the article. Premiata doesn't sell jeans, does it? Um, wait. Maybe? I don't know about that. I think it's included a brand that doesn't sell jeans, but it doesn't matter too much. Most comfortable jeans for guys in 2024. Okay. Uh, where did I just put that table? It's here. No. Whatever. Is our pips for twenty? And then that should go into Shopify. I'll make the future image for the blog. What is your target word count for each blog post? Oh no! 
Oh no! <laughs> God. Wasn't expecting that. No worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. We've got another one. Make a blog post future image for an article about. Wait, let me put this in Shopify first before. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. It's on Markdown's HTML. It's already organized. Think Italian classic style. That's going to mess me up because I always go to income stream surfer email for um, chat GPT. So I'm going to have to remember that. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Is there actually Premiata here? No. Oh, sneakers from Premiata. Oh, fair. That's fine then, isn't it? Nice. What is your target word count? I, I really don't care about word count anymore. I used to. I used to think it was important to have over 750 over a thousand but i just stopped caring about it completely uh how many words do you advise for an article i mean it really depends it really really depends i just don't really care about um i don't really care about them anymore is this fine can you remove the guy I think with certain keywords, you do need long content. Um, a good way to to test that is by asking ChatGPT to give you a out uh, an outline, and if the outline is long, it probably needs a longer article because there is a lot to talk about. An example of that is black tie attire for men. So. Most articles here are going to be pretty long because the, the topic itself is actually pretty complicated. Uh, GQ is a bad example because they always do short articles, but you'll see this one is probably going to be a really long article and it ranks well. Yeah, this is Shopify actually, interestingly enough. So yeah, this is probably a little bit shorter. It's mainly images. They just they prefer images to text, honestly. That's because people prefer looking at images instead of reading text. Let's be honest. That's just the, the way it is these days. So you've got to remember that you're making content for people, not for, not for Google at the end of the day. So whatever Google thinks people like or whatever people like because they're pretty good at guessing or working out what people like is what will rank. So more photos seems to rank better than more text even for more complicated topics that traditionally would require more content oh that makes sense i think i'm losing my voice slowly here <laughs> happy new year yeah you too shazad thank you so much is it possible to choose the size of an image with dali for the article yeah you can say give it to me horizontal or give it to me whatever uh you can say that yeah so this is 2 a.m. So we'll do. This needs to be changed to 10 a.m. Uh, best pulse is that, but also just Google likes those kind of tables. If you think about it, people have been ranking for years on affiliate websites using this kind of table. Not, not this kind of table, these kind of tables that I'm talking about today. So, you know, doing like comparison tables and things like that. So I kind of used that logic and thought maybe they would like it on non-affiliate websites even more. And I had some pretty good results. So now I'm looking at it in more detail. Sorry, mate, the German translation is lousy. Can I be honest? I don't really care at all. <laughs> Literally do. I care like 0.0000000001%. The German translation is bad. I care about what ranks, not about what reads well, to be honest with you. It's an automated translation. It is what it is. I used to care, and obviously some clients care, uh, so we don't do this for everyone. But 
those that focus on ranking and not writing, you know, high level magazine content, they're the ones that it's going to work for. So, yeah. I know that the German translation is bad. I already know that. It's fine. I've been told <laughs> many, many, many times. ChatGPT as well doesn't do an amazing job. It really doesn't of German. You can add things like write in a grade level, grade seven level German, uh, which makes it better, definitely. But again, yeah. Okay, next one. I don't, I, I, I don't care about uh, keywords competitiveness. Um, if I, when I started the website, just to kind of get some quick traffic, I looked for lower keyword difficulty stuff, but keyword difficulty in the sense, not on Ahrefs, just in the sense of like obviousness. I went for like longer term things, what they call long tail keywords and things. But now I don't really care at all. I would rather go for the big keywords, to be honest with you. God, I can hardly swallow. <laughs> Jesus. These are all kind of the same article. Like, why do people care that it's AI? Why? Why do people care? Ugh, so frustrating that people care about featured images being AI generated. Please, Hamish, what would be your SEO strategy if you're targeting non-English speaking customers in Europe? I find it challenging to find the right keywords in foreign languages. Write in English and then translate to 20 different languages using e-translate. That's how I have done it. Hmm. So another, another plan I have is to make collections for everything I have already, but just write on sale as well. I do, I am going to do that eventually. <coughs> I think jeans have already been done. I think I'm going to move on to something else. Oh, maybe for work, actually, that makes sense. Good work jeans for men. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, what is the markdown process used for? Confused why you have to use ChatGPT plus Playground plus markdown tool? Is it so the tables can be created more easily for comparison of internal links? People care because it doesn't fit their perception of how the world should work in reference here. Yeah, I'm just someone who doesn't care about things like that. I'm so... Aesthetics for me are just unimportant. I know that they are important, but like I just... I'd rather just rank at the end of the day. Um, the... Markdown process is to format the article in the right way. So like to have the table underneath. I use the playground for this specifically because I can just keep loading it with images and it already knows what to do. And I use ChatGPT for everything else just because um, it has the featured image already inside it. And it's good at writing with context. And also I have custom instructions, which you can't see right now because I'm on the wrong one. But yeah, I have some custom instructions. They're not that complicated. They're just here. They're in the SOP as well. So, yeah, that's why I use three different things at once. Uh, sorry if that's confusing. I never really think about that. Okay, let's run this again. Grab some jeans. Um, say now do this table. Uh, Okay, we're going to have to start again. So, I want you just to understand these images. I am going to use an AI article to base the article on the context of the images. You don't have to read the URLs, read the URLs live. 
this root of the slugs. Um, store this information, don't do anything else, do you understand? And then we change this to best work genes for men in 2024. Let me say write the article. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean, best post, but I don't think I've done one single tutorial on. I mean, this is the first time I've made talked about this method, really. It's, uh, I guess this live stream kind of goes over that. It's hard to explain. I just do everything by. I, I, I do most things by feeling in life. Um, yeah, it's kind of, and it's hard to explain, like, feeling, like, why I do a certain thing is often just because it feels right, if that makes sense. And it's kind of hard to be like, yeah, if it feels right, so do it. It's like, well, thanks. <laughs> is our picks for the best work genes for men? Yeah, good. I'm glad that you get it. It's really, really hard to talk on YouTube sometimes and explain things that you do by feeling. If someone asks you, like I've had to explain a lot of what I do to my fiance because she's also working for the agency. And it's so hard to explain why I'm doing something to someone who doesn't fully understand SEO and things like that. It's interesting though, for sure. If you can't explain something to someone who's a complete novice, then you, you need to understand it better. So 10.30 p.m. is the next one, got it. It's the worst trying to explain to the others, yeah, exactly. You just have to experiment and do all the works. Exactly. That's what I encourage people to do. I wouldn't even say just follow everything that I do. I would say I, I try to encourage people to do it themselves. Did you encourage for this blog post as before? It looks like people are dipping out now, which is fair. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream for, to be honest with you. But it's it's been amazing. Um, I'm really happy I did this. 807 views in total, which is super, super cool to see. Really, really happy with that. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I'm not going to end just yet, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to go for. I am feeling really, really bad right now. Trust me, I'll be remixing your process perfect that's exactly what i want people to do a lot of people just watch my videos and try and copy exactly what i do i mean when i made tiny home hub people even copied the niche which i kind of thought was a bit weird not weird but i understand why people did it and i did say i wasn't bothered if people did it but it just didn't make any sense because you're just gonna be competing with me which doesn't make sense at all but it is what it is So this should be 10, 6, uh, 10 p.m. Why does this not work sometimes? It should just work. But yeah, really, really nice. Really nice to be able to stream and have company whenever I want. Even on New Year's Eve. Something I haven't done this stream, which I normally do when I'm not live, is check every article. Should probably mention that. Oh, these are all the same brand. Oh no, they're fine. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm very excited to see if these things rank. Again, I'm just experimenting. Like these could all be flops and they none of them could rank potentially, but we'll see. If I did this all year round, two a day, seven hundred and thirty articles, three, six, five times two. <laughs> yeah. That would be crazy. I mean, that would that would be so. That would be crazy. If I could do that, I would. I think I. I don't know if I have the energy to do that. To be honest with you. All right, let's do a few more, and then I think I'm going to call it quits. Um, what do we actually sell? Blazers, sports coats. We have a lot of sports coats. Oh, do we though? Yeah, we should have a lot of blazers. Yeah, we do. 
a decent amount. Let's do. Let's just do a best sports coast of 2024 because I know that I don't even need to do the keyword research for that. Uh, they called sports coats or sports sports coat or sports. <sighs> Which one is more used in America? That's what I want to know. Sports coat, sports jacket. I think sports jacket will be more used. <laughs> Surely sports coat. Uh, sorry, sports jacket. Oh, it's like actually exactly the same. Men's sports coats. That's definitely blazers, yeah. Without space. And then men's stress sports jacket. 49,000 searches per month. Oh, I'm getting in on that. Oh, I'm getting in on that. Come here. All right. So you're going to look for Blazer. Um, you can thank our schooling system, which teaches us to follow instructions, write everything we learn on test. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. They are pretty similar in US sports jacket versus sport coat. It depends. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty much the same. I would, I could, this is going back to the question you asked before about when to write one and when to write two. In this case, I don't know. I think I would probably potentially write two. I think I might write two. One sports coat, one sports jacket. I think that makes the most sense. In, in, again, it's by feeling. So uh, make this table now. Well, it's six minutes until 2024, guys. Yeah, this is where it's tricky, definitely. Do I use one article or two? No, the playground froze on me. Happy New Year, mate. I'm here and trying to follow along. Do you have a video that takes you from A to C on your content creation process? I should probably just make that video again because my content creation process it kind of changes every every day that's kind of the problem with it god i'm suddenly really tired getting hit by the the old uh the old virus um i will make an updated video this stream has been one big content creation process masterclass though uh create a table comparing these products in markdown Let's just see if that just does that first time. Yeah. Wait. Right. Make sure to include the limit to the products. Okay. Uh, do two then if they don't work separately, write one and then three. Yeah, that's probably a good way to do it. Yeah, that's a smart way to do it. I'll probably write two in this case just because it's such a big topic and it looks like there's 49,000 each, which seems a bit weird. And then there's gents as well. There's a lot of very interesting keywords here. I'm just going to mute for one second while I try and clear my nose. Go away, Mr. Chat. Okay, I needed to do that for so long. <laughs> Jesus, I feel better now. Okay, okay, okay. We can keep going now. <laughs> I should have done that before. <laughs> I hope that was muted, everyone. I'm sorry if it wasn't. Um, scroll up, best, I'm going to write gents here instead of men, because I saw that was a keyword as well, I think I'm, 
I'm just going to try and write two articles, maybe even just do one um, for this topic, just because I don't want to write two that are too similar. Uh, it is going to be on the next table. Please store your information as before. Do you understand? Um, <clears throat> did you try any other niches in Europe other than the fashion niche? And please, could you suggest any profitable niches to focus on in 2024? Always in Europe. I, I, I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just look at things that nobody else looks at that have hobbyists behind them. Yeah, just do niche research and find things that people don't look at. Uh, is there a benefit to asking for it markdown rather than straight HTML? Um, markdown uses less uh, characters, which means the actual written content is a bit longer. That's the main reason that I use um, markdown. Beautiful. Check out Kiton. Check out Boss. Sartorio Napoli. Luxury shirt. Yes, 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 yes. This is a few more internal links than I would normally go for, but you know, it is what it is. It, it works. Okay, where's the table? Table's here. Here's our pick for, you know what I might do? I might just cop out here and do the best sports jackets for men in 2024. So instead of doing two articles here, I think I'm just going to try and cover the topic in one article. I'm going to have to message a few people saying Happy New Year quickly. I'll do. Happy New Year, everyone. It's uh, 2024 for me now, finally. I uh, should message, actually, I should message Ollie as well quickly. One second, guys. Oh, yeah, my friend's chat as well. Happy New Year, you. I won't say what I just wrote. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, let's uh, let's finish up. I think I'm gonna do one more after this, and then I think that's my my limit. Now, give me a featured image blog post. Yeah, guys, keep grinding. No one's going to grind for you. We've all got to grind ourselves. That is a fact of life. I love your mentality starting the year with a bang, getting ahead of the competition. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really consider, I don't really have competition on YouTube. I think everyone has their own audience. The closest person would probably be Julian Goldie, but we, we talk about a lot of different things and, you know, he shouts me out. I shout him out if we make a similar sort of video, but yeah, I still, I still look at his views and compare them to my views. Definitely. So I guess that is a, a variant of competition. Did I, where's the HTML here? I'm not copy it yet. <laughs> There we go. I just want to start, as I mean, to continue. And I really, really want to get into streaming this year um, and making better videos as well. So I thought I'd start on New Year's Eve. I can't believe that works. These are too weird. I understand. Create the perfect blah, 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 blah. Please let me know. I can generate a new image. Don't be sarcastic. Get on with it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Best Pulse. It's good to have a channel that's so similar because it helps with views. It helps get the topic out as well. I'm new to all of this, so I apologize. 
If this is a silly question, is what you're doing black hat or white hat or no hat? Uh, some people consider it black hat. The the people who consider it black hat are normally writers or people who have spent crap tons of money on human written content. Now, Google themselves have said that they don't really care if content is written by AI as long as it's helpful. Um, wait, hey, sports. Oh, it is a blazer. This isn't a blazer. Make it more obvious. So it's it's grey hat, yeah, definitely. Best pulse is right. It's it's grey hat, but in my opinion, it's actually white hat. Um, I think black hat is more, using this black hat wise is like if you if you steal someone's website, copy someone's website, and do this, like the the great SEO heist that everyone was talking about. That's kind of more black hat for me. This is just a writing but it's um i would say this is white hat compared to what most people are using <laughs> chat gpt for um but it's definitely in the middle it's it's grayish i would say i think uh, best pulse is right yeah this is more white hat than you'll see on youtube though normally for sure best sports codes of 2024 for How can Google know if it's generated from AI or human? Surely it can't. Um, they, they, again, they just really care if it's. I don't think they. I don't think they check it to see if it's AI generated. They just check to see if it's useful and helpful content. And because a lot of these topics are kind of underserved in the niche, it's a good opportunity for me to add some useful content. So, yeah, I don't think they really care. I don't think they check. Um, people think they check, but they don't. Wait, you can reply to just... Oh, that's a new feature. Did you see that? Interesting. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Uh, so, I'm new to this live stream. What this? What is this all about? I am making content for two men. Uh, I'm trying out a new... Newish. I'm making sure this works properly. Um, method of making content. Seems like it's working pretty well, so I wanted to double down and see if it really is going to work very well, or whether it's just um, a one-off. And if it does work really well and this gets a lot more traffic, I'll double, triple, quadruple down on it, basically. Uh, 6th at 10 p.m. So I need to do the 7th. Yeah, 7th at 10 a.m. Uh, yeah. How many have I done? One, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Let's do some. Let's just do a quick interesting test. At the beginning of this live stream, I wrote this article. Let's see if it's indexed already. Remember, I didn't manually submit it. I'd be surprised if it was indexed. Actually, it normally takes a bit more than two hours. Yeah, no, it's not. That's fine. Oh, I guess I wasn't really expecting it to be. I was just interested to see if it was. Uh, this should be complete. Yeah, let's save that. Happy New Year to you too, uh, Abel. Let's just preview this quickly and make sure everything's looking good. Still need to fix the tables. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, these look good. Some of those, yeah, this is literally perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, I'm going to do one more, uh, and then I'm going to call it a night. I wanted to bring in the new year with everyone, so I'm happy to have done that. Let's do one more for the road. And yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I want to stick on sports coats. Let's see. Best men's sports coat for... Is that going to have any results? Maybe not. It's possible there are going to be no results. <laughs> Rowan's a legend, guys. He's, he's so passionate about this project. Everyone's been really welcoming as well, so I appreciate that. It was, it was a big change going from just me to going to... Um, me and Rowan and Craft and everything. So, thanks for everyone that supported the move. 
it's been uh, it's been interesting and this year is going to be hella interesting uh what do i want to do here i'm not still muted am i no there aren't any good keywords here Mm, here are some good ones. I'm going to do my nose again one sec. Okay, that's better. Um, mm, mm, mm. Oh, sports coats for jeans. Interesting. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So, um... Last one, guys. Last one. So what we need is we need a new list. They're going to be the same, though, potentially. Yeah, they're going to be the same. We don't have enough blazers. It's fine. We'll just use the same. Uh, so back to here. We'll change this to best sports coats to wear with jeans in 2024 i think woocommerce is probably fine i just don't like using it personally using the same products to shape the article like this one instead yeah woocommerce is fine i just i don't personally like it i just don't like wordpress it's too easy to make a mistake with wordpress i remember when you used to say always be nice to chat gpt <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's so true brian murray like that was when he that's when he was a good boy now he messes with me so i i, I mess with him back <laughs> that is so funny though i used to say say please and be nice to chat gpt and now i'm just like the absolute opposite <laughs> that's so funny that was so last year true that was before they dumbed him down I definitely, I know what people are talking about when they say he's been dumbed down. I can feel it too. I, I agree. And look how slow it's being as well. I'm glad this is the last one. This is taking forever. Oh, it's my internet. This internet is so bad. Okay, we'll copy this. This is going to be the last one, everyone. And we'll see how these rank now. Make the featured image. I'll be really, really curious. I can make a video in a week about how these are ranking and if they are ranking, etc. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. <laughs> yeah, that is so funny that I used to say, say please to ChatGPT, and now I swear it and <laughs> say awful things to him. I'm sorry, ChatGPT. I swear, when ChatGPT takes over, it'll tell me to like write essays for it all day long, and I'll have to, I'll have to sit there manually writing with my hands, and then when I finish, it'll say, "Now translate it into German," or "Now write it from the first person," or you know, whatever it might be. So I'll I'll be the first to go when ChatGPT takes over for sure. <laughs> Best men's. Sports coats to wear with jeans in 2024. There are some super. I am worried about AI in some respects. I'm not gonna lie. Like I think, I think ChatGPT is okay, but I'm worried about uncensored um, models. Not because of their safety, but because of what people can do with them. Um, that might sound paranoid, but if you think about it, uh, I don't really want to go into detail to be honest with you and talk about this, but people are able to do more things that they wouldn't have known how to do before basically so yeah it's kind of messed up uh, i am really worried about that but yeah i'm not, I'm not gonna talk i'm not gonna talk about that on the channel i might talk about it in a video if i can th think about a way to word everything i want to say but i am worried about ai in some respects for sure do we need some genes here if you went to a website blog post about best sports coats and jeans combinations and there were no jeans, you'd be like, why are there no jeans? 
But I also don't think I can be bothered to add jeans. So yeah. Is our pick best sports jackets for men to wear with jeans in 2024? Okay. There we go. I think I'm done, guys. I'm going to post this article. I'm going to go offline. I'm probably going to go to sleep. I've been trying to catch up on sleep recently um, because I had to drive to Dublin at 2 a.m. the other night, which has completely ruined my sleeping pattern. So hopefully I can fix it tonight. Let us just post this. Um, let's just do the 8th to be sure because I can't be bothered to check at 10 a.m. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. It's been great. It's been an honor to spend my New Year's Eve with you guys. I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Um, let's just write a... I'm just going to do this quickly because I don't think the one here is that good. There we go. Let's start this year together, guys. Let's start it as we mean to finish it strong grinding a lot of people are against the grind mindset but it's it's so important because no one is going to grind for you the only person that is ever going to do work for you is yourself or if you pay someone and if you um yeah if you're not if you're not paying anyone it's just you you're the only person who's going to work for yourself so you are the only person who's going to grind and you have to put the work in at the end of the day if you want to grow something. So let's start 2024 as we mean to end 2024, grinding our asses off to get to our goals. And thanks, Kobe. I appreciate that. Um, you can, you, you've got a whole lot of videos to, to explore as well. Um, if you want to look at, I know my channel's a bit over, overwhelming. So if you want to go to uh, my channel, Income stream surfer. Is it surfer or surfers? I always forget. Uh, and then if you go on playlists, there are a few playlists depending on what you want. They're kind of organized. So there's conversion rate, there's e commerce SEO, um, topical authority, another e commerce SEO, uh, and then just chat GPT SEO, etc. So yeah, these kind of playlists here lay out the SEO section of my channel. Thanks all. And I'll see you very, very soon as usual with some more content.